In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving limits of a function very fast with Casio FS CG50 calculator in seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you'll be able to solve problems involving limits with Casio FS CG50 calculator in seconds. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. You're going to learn a lot, guys. So, having known that, let's get the Casio calculator now and go into the details of the video or this video all right so this is Casio fs cg50 calculator now the very first thing you have to do will be to clear or reset your calculator the sense of doing this is to put your calculator in default mode to remove whatever previous value you might have stored uh the calculator all right so to simply reset it all you have to do is to use this navigation button all right, so we are going to go to system. So this is system. When you get here, you press execute. Execute on this calculator signifies equal to. So when you press execute, you will see we see it F5. All right, so once you press F5, you go to the next page. Use press F6. All right, so initialize or F2. Okay, so F1 stands for yes. We press F1. So once you press F1, it will begin to reset it as indicated here so it's beginning to reset the calculator very, very important guys that you reset it before you begin to solve your questions so it's done it is it press is it so it's now reset all right now the next thing you have to do after resetting will be to let's begin question one the question said the limit Evaluate the limit extending to 2. So we have these cubic functions, numerator and at the denominator. All right, so you press execute for one matrix. All right, so once you do it, what you have to do now, the idea behind solving limits with the calcium calculator will be to add this constant 0.001. Note it 0.001 to the array number the limit is tending to so in the case of this question y is tending to two so we're going to do we're going to add so two plus zero point zero zero one all right so we press a execute now you store this as x in the calculator all right, very important. So once you add 0 0.001 to the array number, you store it as X in the calculator to store. All you have to do now will be to press this arrow button first, then press alpha and X is at this plus button, then press execute and indicate that it has been stored. All right, so now that we have done this, let's delete everything here. Delete all, press F1. All right, so we are good to go. Let's impute this question exactly as we have it here so it's in fraction make use of this fraction button okay so we have 4 minus 8x alpha x okay plus 5x square alpha x square all right minus x cube alpha x the cube make use of this power function all right over okay so we have two x alpha x okay cube all right it will come down okay so we have minus nine x alpha x square okay plus 12 x all right alpha x minus four and that's all hope we're not meeting any number or any value okay it's correct so let's press the quarter and you will get the results it's as simple as that guys press the quit minus 0 0.33 and minus 0 0.33 is something as minus one about three let's verify it so it deletes deletes everything f1 so when you check minus 1 over 3, press execute. So to change this to decimal, we press ST. 
So you can see minus 0 0.33. So the answer is one option B. It's as simple as that, guys. Now for question two. This time around, the limit is tending to table. All right. So to solve it, all you have to do will be to add 0 0.001 to this three and store it as x in the calculator so to do this we need to clear everything all right to be at the safe side so to clear we go back to menu all right so we go to system we go to system all right is it good okay we have reset f5 then we have next page initialize or f3 yes f1 so it will begin to reset it okay it's as simple as that guys that's the procedure you have to follow all right so let's press it it's done okay so we have limit x turning to the way we have this expression so we're going to begin with we press one matrix is a good so we have three plus 0.001 all right press is equal so you store this as x to store you press this arrow button first take notes of this for this calculator all right then press alpha x press the goods it will indicate that it has been stored as one x so let's delete everything all right so let's delete everything let's go to exit delete Oh, okay, it's good to go. So let's impute this expression exactly as we have it here. So it's going to be make use of this fraction button. So we have roots, square roots of. So you make use of this square root function. You press shift this S square button to bring out square roots. Shift this. So we have square roots of x alpha x okay square all right then we have plus x alpha x okay plus three over we have s okay wait before you go to the denominator let's finish the, the numerator so you give space and press minus very important guys then square root of shift this all right for x alpha x okay then plus three all right then go to the denominator we have x alpha x to the power four all right minus 81 and that's all. First to quote two. We are good to go. So what do we have here? We have this check if we're correct. Yeah. So we have three point five eight times ten to the power minus zero minus zero three. Is it point or is it okay? Let's what I'm going to do and do now will be to evaluate the options. They want to give out 3.58 times 10 with the power minus 0 3. All right, so it's as simple as that, guys. Let's delete everything, delete all, press F1. Okay, so let's begin with option A. Remember, we have 3.5 times 10 with the power minus 0 3 there about. So, option A, we have 1 over. 24 roots shift this theory as a good press sd to put it in this signal no so let's check option b let's do the necessary changes here so option b we have 72 here 72 then it's 15 all right so that's it where we could confirm this is the result value because your answer is what option b
All right, but well, let's take option C and see what we're going to get. So the necessary changes here. The difference is in this route, so we have three. So we two, three. No? And let's check option D. <laughs> this is very, very interesting, guys. Option D. Okay, so we have 15 here. 15. And then we have 24 here. All right, so we move the seven. That's it. No, so answer is one option B. It's as simple as that, guys. So there's something interesting for this video. If you are new to the channel, show you the subscribe button for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions, ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to give you a response. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my subsequent video.